so I have one two three four five five objects out of which mm, the stakeholder one uh, wants the uh, month wise trend and once wise bar chart with the average and the distribution so it's three and we have added three so let's save this and refresh and now what I can do is now I can start styling so over here I'm going to write style then I'm going to write dot KPI so this is a custom class that I'm building so KPI will have a height of let's say 100 pixels and chart will have a height of let's say 250 pixels okay so I'm going to copy my KPI I'm going to add over here and with this I'm going to add one more class called QV placeholder I'm going to copy this and paste here similarly I will add chart QV placeholder now one last thing which is missing is I have to add the IDs to these particular chart uh, containers so I am going to write ID now I will say KPI1 KPI2 object1 object 2 object 3 let's save this and what I'll do is I'll copy this class I will go up and I will add this class saying border of 1 pixel solid gray Oops, sorry and here you go so I have two KPI objects now let's see how it turns out inside the row I have the logo here which currently I have not given the refresh date time this is my filter buttons and these are my KPI so I have to add variable buttons last refreshed and logo logo of 100 last refresh it can be just a text so logo I can just add class logo and last refresh can be a paragraph tag having last refreshed and this is the object so I am going to copy this I am going to paste it here and now I am going to add an option called a new class called filter and a ID filter1 so I am going to copy the whole thing paste it again 
then I'm going to change filter to because we have the second page also I am looking forward for the like second page also so inside filter I'm going to write a height of let's say 40 pixels not more than that perfect as you can see the logo has its own dedicated place last refreshed here's the filter filter 2 kpi kpi 2 so in this way uh, technically speaking your uh, ui is done so now let's work on the navigation so navigation i'm going to use button groups i can copy this for the navigation i'm going to add the navigation over here after refreshed i'm going to paste i can copy this code paste it back saying that this is for page navigation i can cut paste remove one of the buttons because we have only summary and uh, what was the second page name graphical cut so i can give it a name as let's say <coughs> sorry geo cut and I can refresh, uh, remove that. And I can right click, format my document, save, refresh. Okay, now I have it over there. Uh, so I feel this should be over here. So it should be logo, then navigation. Okay. So I'm checking for if I can, you know, tell that there is no padding padding zero pixels okay okay that will work and now if i add a class over here called active then as you can see it goes a little dark if i add a class over here so uh, we have to create the navigation in that way so what we are going to do is we are going to write that javascript over here and then we are going to add it in the mashup so i can go to console uh, first i'll do a small addition which is i'll say page nav as a class a new class and then I will refresh my page 